You're listening to the Truck Talk with TriVista podcast, brought to you by TriVistaCompanies.com, the ultimate source for all things trucking, and sponsored by Louisville Masonry in Stone in Louisville, Kentucky, where beauty and function meet. I'm Anita Massey, Director of Marketing for TriVista Companies. Thanks for joining us today. So today our topic is the S13 integrated powertrain that was recently launched by Trayton Navistar, and today we'll be discussing the features and benefits of this new powertrain and why it's viewed to be the industry leader when it comes to fuel economy. We're going to be joined by Dave Hillman, Senior Director of Integrated Powertrain Marketing at Navistar, and Chris Brooks, uh, South Region Truck Sales Manager at Navistar, and John Shireman, TriVista Partner and President of Marketing and Administration. So, gentlemen, thank you for talking with us today. Anita, thanks so much for, for having us. Really looking forward to, uh, to being part of this uh, exciting podcast. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity, Anita. Thanks, Anita. You're, you're absolutely welcome. Glad to have all of you guys. So let's get started. Um, Dave, I know that last week, International introduced the S13 integrated powertrain at a launch event that took place at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And I know it was an extremely exciting introduction. I watched the webinar live, and it was highly exciting. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this new powertrain? Yeah, I can. Uh... I can give at least a quick overview. I mean, I think the, uh, the 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 most important thing, as you'd expect, right? This this type of development is truly a team sport, and uh, one of the things that I think was was the most important point to convey last week was that our engineers had been working as part of the Trayton Group on this uh, on this powertrain for the last five years, so we want to really distinguish the fact that this isn't, you know, an engine and a transmission developed somewhere else by someone else and thrown over a pond and said, hey, it was good for us, so you guys take it. Um, we've had our engineers in the room, on the team, with a voice uh, in the process, like I said, for the last five years. And so last week's launch event really was the the culmination of a lot of effort and a lot of work done um, to, to lead up to that point. And delivering on something that solves customer downtime issues by eliminating problem areas and delivering such a compelling and, 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 a, and, a, and a real growth in terms of fuel economy, all in a package that's lightweight, you know, it, it really does feel like we've we've hit um, we, we've hit a home run. And it's just, you know, it's the eagerness of of getting our, our dealer channel trained up and spooled up and engaged, um, you know, was was really kicked off last week. And and uh, the amount of excitement we saw, you know, I know I know I saw John briefly out there. I know uh, I think Vince Cerny and, and uh, uh, Jim O'Halloran were out there as well. Um, the 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 dealers are real eager to, to get in, in up to speed and involved with this as well. So it was really fun to see it all come together. Great. So, Chris, being a sales field representative for International, um, talk about what excites you most about the new S13. Yeah, I think uh, number one, of course, is is going to be the uh, fuel economy increase. Uh, you know, it's been a long time since we were the um, industry leader in fuel economy. And uh, then just the integration, the full integration of the drivetrain is a, you know, a huge advantage for us. Um, you know, it's something that we've needed for a long time, um, you know, with our current pro current and previous product, you know, we've kind of had some shortfalls due to not being completely integrated. Um, and, you know, there's some some bells and whistles that we'll be able to utilize now and that'll um, really help us with the um, the customer's uh, experience and the driver's experience. And I think it's really going to uh, bode well for us moving forward. Okay. Makes sense. So, John, um, what does this mean for you as an international dealer? So, I am super excited about this, Anita. Uh, something that our customers have asked for in the past is a one-stop shop or a single source for just their powertrain needs. So, whether it's parts, 
whether it's service or warranty, they want that single source they can come to. And the introduction of the S13, the integrated powertrain, that just allows us to deliver on that request. So whether it's the engine, whether it's the transmission or the after treatment system, you bring that product to me or one of the other 700 international dealerships in the network, which by the way is the largest in the industry. You bring that to one of those dealers, we are going to have the, we're gonna have the tooling, we're gonna have the certified technicians, we're gonna have the parts, we're gonna have the accelerated service lanes to confirm that we're gonna have that powertrain operating in peak performance. So we're really excited about that. That is exciting. Can't wait to see them start coming into our dealerships. Yeah. <laughs> so Dave, um, the development of that S13 certainly sounds like it was a collaborative process, as you said earlier. I think you said five years, that's quite a while. Um, can you kind of talk about the timeline and the progression of the product and what that means to our industry as a whole? Yeah, yeah. I think I think the the, the big milestones along the way. The first was Volkswagen uh, bought a stake in 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 Navistar in late sixteen, and it was official in early seventeen, and that really kicked off a lot of a lot of different uh, projects and programs. Uh, one of which being the the S13 integrated powertrain, um, and 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 I think it's important to note that um, hey I've I've been I've been uh, an employee at the company it'll be 24 years uh, in a couple weeks been there a long time and and very excited that we were a you know a fiercely independent American company um, the ownership in Volkswagen. Um, changes that a little bit, but it really doesn't change the 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 men and women that, uh, that have been working at the corporation for a long time. We've um, uh, we've just now got the backing of the world's first or second largest car maker, depending on the year, right? And that matters when you think about some of the future technology that we need to get involved with, like autonomous vehicles or battery electric vehicles and fuel cell. Um, those were those are large investments that were going to be really problematic for us to invest in as an independent company. Um, and yet now we're part of the Trayton Group, which is the, the commercial truck division of Volkswagen is the way to think about it. So we have uh, cousins and colleagues in, in Scania in Sweden and MAN in Germany and in Volkswagen commercial vehicles down in Brazil. So we're all part of this, this large network. And, and so the S13, Development kicked off then. Um, Scania is going to be first to market. So another milestone that I'd like to reference is they kicked off their um, their public launch in Sweden, I think last uh, last November. And I had the opportunity to go tour the uh, their engine facility that's going to be producing these um, in in March. I was over there and it was up and running and they've been producing, they were producing, I think over 50 a day when I was there. And I think they've ramped up to an even higher production run rate. And so then the, then the milestone where we did our launch in August last week was, was really the result of needing to get our dealers armed with the latest information, showcase it to our customers because the long order board we have we kind of did it a little earlier than we maybe normally would, um, because then the, the other milestones that we've got now coming at us, um, we'll have the the whole powertrain, which is the engine, the 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 S13 engine, the T14 transmission, dual stage after treatment. All of that will be in sales tools for dealers to place orders in October. Um, our Huntsville assembly plant, which is the 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 North American production site for the S13 engine and T14 transmission, uh, though that facility will start uh, producing our components um, next spring. Um, we're going to have a big dealer boot camp uh, that all of the, we want all of the dealer sales, salespeople, I think it's predominantly sales. I don't know, I don't know how the after treatment is going to, or I'm sorry, the after sales teams, like, like parts teams, they may have a component in, in that boot camp as, as well. Uh, but I know it's going to be predominantly sales focused. That's going to be scheduled, I think, for for May of next year. And um, job one production begins 
for our LT and our R, our RH models. Sorry, let me say that again. The RH models and the LT models that take this powertrain begin production uh, next July. So, so a lot of uh, you know a lot of work still yet to be done, but at least we're public with it after our public launch last week. Absolutely. That's exciting to hear that it's coming next year. I'm glad to hear that. Um, so, Chris, it's my understanding that for the first time, International has developed its own in-house transmission. Um, can you talk a little bit about what differenti differentiates this transmission from those that are currently in the heavy truck market? Well, you know, I, I think, again, back to, you know, the full integration and what that, that allows us to do as a... Um, as a complete system, um, you know, the, the, the T14 transmission is really the brains of this whole, this whole thing. Um, you know, there's several options and, and features that, that the T14 brings to the table that we've not had in the past, uh, you know, or, or maybe we've had some sort of, of, uh, uh, version of, of those, but they've not been as, um, uh, driver friendly as, as they really need to be uh, and uh, you know there's the, the hill hold technology uh, or hill descent I should say um, it's going to work much better um, with this with this drivetrain and then you know certain things like our, the turtle mode the, the slow speed maneuvering that that's going to allow the driver to do I think the driver experience is going to be improved exponentially uh, over what we what we're offering today okay that's pretty interesting um, so, Dave, I guess the same question I'll ask you as far as for the after treatment system. Um, this development, I understand, was also a collaborative process. Um, can you talk a little bit about how this after treatment system works and how it's different from what we currently have in our products? Yeah, yeah, I think I think the um, the way I'd set the stage is that because we had one team developing all three major systems, the engine, the transmission that Chris just talked about, and what we call the dual stage after treatment system, they were all designed by the same team at the same time. That allowed us to unlock a lot of advantages. And um, you know, the advantage that, that we've already touched on is uh, eliminating the EGR cooler. And that allowed us to, um, to also replace the fixed geometry turbo with a I'm sorry, a variable geometry turbo with a fixed geometry waste gated, very simple design. Um, you know, those are examples of how, you know, we're able to, to, to look at these things all in combination. And Anita, to your question about the dual stage after treatment system, this is really the key enabler to allow us to eliminate the EGR cooler, right? It, it, everyone's engine in the marketplace today in North America has an EGR cooler. It's just part of the, the evolution of the industry. But by taking a step back and saying, hey, what if we had an after treatment that could do it all? This allowed us to develop an engine that doesn't have to clean up after itself. So it, we're not tasking the engine with using cooled EGR to help control some of the emissions. We put all of that NOx load into the dual stage after treatment system itself. Um, the first stage, you know, as you'd expect, there are, there are, there are um, two steps to it because we call it dual stage. The first is a def dosing stage right after the turbocharger where we, we, we introduce the first shot of, of diesel exhaust fluid to atomize in the exhaust stream right after the turbo and it goes through the, the evaporator tube, which is sort of the dirt turbo downpipe as most people would think of it. And then it enters into the, the after treatment system itself. And there's a second stage of, of diesel exhaust fluid injection that takes place there. And it's, and it's really this, this part of the system that was designed to handle more NOx um, that allows us to, to let the other things do what they do best. We, we say we allow the engine to do what it does best, generate power, we let the T14 transmission do what it does best, take that power to the road. And the after treatment, the dual stage after treatment device does what it does best, controls controls the NOx and, and the, the PM. Um, but because, because we're able to handle more NOx in the after treatment, the, the engine is generating less particulate matter. And, and so it all, it all works together as, as a, a single system. 
That's fascinating. I'm curious, is the weight of this less than what we typically see in the market today as well? It is. We, you know, because we only build the engine today, we, 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 we advertise that the A26 engine is the lightest weight 13 liter engine in the North American market, which it is. And this engine is is a tick lighter than the A26. And when we look at now all the components that we provide, so the 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 S13 engine, the T14 transmission, and dual stage after treatment system, that system is going to be lighter than anything we we build today, which is already the lightest in the industry. So we will um, not only have you know the best fuel economy performance out of this S13 powertrain, but we'll also claim the lightest weight in North America as well. I like hearing that. Okay, so John, you and I both work in the dealership environment, and mm -hmm. you had mentioned that um, earlier that International has the largest dealer network in the industry. What can we as a dealer offer a customer after they have purchased a new International that's um, equipped with the S13? Sure. Um, lots of really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. I could spend at least an hour, if not more, talking about what we can do to service a customer and what International can do to service the customer after we sell the product. But just to give you the broad strokes, um, so, you know, a customer's business is all about uptime, keeping the trucks on the road, out of the shop. And when you take into consideration the product line that we offer, like the S13, uh, when you look at the warranties that go with that, that show the extreme competence in any of those products, you look at the telematic solutions and the connected vehicle technology that we have that's going to give uh, the owner and the fleet manager full transparency to the health of the vehicle, not only that, you're going to be able, that same fleet manager is going to be able to see real-time service repairs being done pretty much with our i360 platform. They're going to have a portal to, to see what's going on with the truck if it comes into the dealership. You look at that along with these state-of-the-art parts distribution centers that the dealer has available, so we're going to have the right part on the shelf when the customer need is, needs it. You look at those things, you look at the product, and I think you're going to find that with the, with International and with the dealer body, we have after-sales solutions that are going to rival anybody in the industry. So, like I said, I could spend a lot of time on that, but those are just some high-level things we can do after the sale. That's exciting. So, Dave, um, I'm sure one of the big questions out there, and you're probably hearing it all day long, is when will the S13 be available? <laughs> can you shed yeah. some light on that important question, please? Well, well, yeah. The the exciting news is that um, yeah, we we do get that question a lot, which is just, <laughs> I think, a, a real great indication about how how well received this is by the customers, and and so for the uh, um, for the dealer channel, we'll have it available with the October download uh, to be able to see it in your in your sales tools. So so you you'll be able to see the pricing and the specs and all of the all the ways you can configure units for your for your customers um I, i'm going to say on or around october 15th and we're going to be building our first set of sellable trucks um as part of our production ramp in the um in i think the uh the the first quarter and then the second batch is going to be second quarter with full production as i mentioned on or around july 1st of next year so uh, so the uh, the excitement is building, and uh, as will the uh, production ramp as well. Right. So we need to tell our sales guys to get those pre-orders in. Absolutely. Now. <laughs> Doing it right after this. Absolutely. Well, guys, we're so, new. Oh, go ahead. I, I was just going to say. So, so John will hear about about some more details at the October dealer meeting, um, where we've got all of the um, all the international dealers coming into the San Antonio um, uh, area where we've got our newest assembly plant. Um, we're gonna be, we're gonna be um, kind of revealing uh, our demo programs and dealer stocking programs. So, so um, the opportunities to get your, you know, kind of get your orders in to help support your customers is gonna be uh, starting, starting there at the October dealer meeting. All right, well, 
We're, we're nearing the end of our time today. Is there anything else either of you gentlemen would like to add before we sign off, Dave or, or Chris? Hey, I, 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 I just um, say uh, once again, thank you for, uh, for thinking of me and, and, and giving me an opportunity um, to share my personal excitement over this. I, I, uh, I, I'm, I've been around, as I mentioned, the international uh, team and network for a long time and um, been involved with a number of different product launches. And this is one that's got me uh, truly fired up because I know this is going to be delivering um, a better solution for our for our customers. And I can't wait for our dealers to have it uh, to have it on the on the lot because it'll be an exciting thing for us ha to have to sell. It, it feels good to be, um, you know, we've got the wind at our backs. We're playing offense instead of maybe playing defense that we've been doing for too long. And, and it's about time. And and I know we've got the best dealer network out there to 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 get this uh, exciting product into customers' hands. Well said. No, just you know, just the excitement that uh, that the sales organization and 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 that the the dealer organization have, um, and, and you know what this is going to do for us in the industry. Um, you know, I think it's really going to put us as a best in class uh, product. And you know, I'm really excited to to have this. Uh, get in the market next year, see it, you know, out moving around and and uh, just getting getting customers in the seats. Uh, I think we're really going to have a, a good piece of equipment to offer the market. Perfect. I got something to say, too. OK, so again, I'm very excited about this, but I, I have the pleasure of serving on a product advisory board. And basically what that is, that is um, international executives, international engineers and dealers like myself. I get to hang out with Dave uh, during these board <laughs> meetings as well. But um, it, it, it allows me to get a little peek behind the curtain of mm -hmm. products that are going to be coming to market. And I can tell you with this S13 um, integrated powertrain, the, the time, the effort, the collaboration and just the testing that has gone into this product is like nothing I've seen in the 28 years that I've, I've been in this industry. So I think you look at the, the engineering that has gone into this product, you couple that with the dealers that are going to support it. I, we got a winner here. So I'm just super excited about it. Well, I'm excited to start marketing it as well. So, <laughs> well, thank you guys, each of you for this information and this great discussion that we've had on the new S13 integrated powertrain. Um, we're looking forward to receiving trucks equipped with this great, exciting technology. So thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you all. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity to talk about it today. Thank you all. Bye-bye. When the right pieces come together, the impossible becomes possible. So we brought together a global partnership, the brightest minds in the business. And then we started from scratch to build something that broke barriers and conventional wisdom. It didn't happen overnight. Our ambition was too big, our goals too high. So we put years of engineering into it. Over 4 million miles of testing behind it pushed it to have a cleaner impact on the environment, to bridge the gap between where we are and where we're going. And it delivered up to a staggering 15% boost in fuel economy. This isn't the first powertrain we've ever built. But this is the one drivers and fleet owners might say is the greatest. The S13 integrated powertrain from International Truck. Shift what's possible.